What's going on guys, Rana back here with another After Effects tutorial and in this video we will talk about uh, time warp effect and this is built-in plugin uh, of After Effects and uh, inside this plugin we have uh, motion blur as well as frame blending in this plugin which is kind of interesting you don't have to have uh, unable frame blending option or you do not need to apply pixel motion blur plugin and so in this plugin these two options are built in so let's get started let's see how it's useful when we have to time stretch or something speed up footage or slow down the footage so let's get started let's uh, drag your footage into your timeline as you can see I have this piece of stock footage into my timeline so let's apply a time warp effect on it let's come over here effect and preset panel and type time warp and this uh, plugin comes under the time and drag and drop on your footage after that you may see slightly difference uh, on the screen because uh, in the time warp effect we have a uh, 50% speed default and uh, in the method we have this uh, frame blending option uh, which is uh, in under the method we have a uh, whole frame which is without frame blending option and we have a frame mix and we have pixel motion this is what we learned in the previous videos uh, pixel motion and uh, frame mix so this frame blending option built in inside of this plugin let's first RAM preview this let's RAM preview without the plugin if I RAM preview let me show you the original speed of this footage alright as you can see this is the original speed of this footage funny guys <laughs> right so let's uh, RAM preview with this plugin as you can see this is uh, now half speed down from the original footage this is 50% slow from the original speed you can think of uh, this plugin kind of reverse from the time stretch because in the time stretch if we want to speed up the footage we have to decrease this percentage and contrary in the contrary in this uh, time warp if we want to increase uh, the speed of the footage we have to increase this number at the hundred percent we have uh, the original speed if we want to increase the speed of this footage we have to increase this number let's say 200 let's RAM preview now all right as you can see now we have fast footage let me turn off this audio all right so next thing we got here this motion blur plugin if I simply enable this we got uh, motion blur on this footage directly without applying any other plugin which is kind of interesting we got everything in this plugin we got pixel motion blur plugin and uh, in this motion blur we got automatic and we have manual if we set this to manual we got this shutter angle which is default into 180 and uh, shutter sample to 5 which is kind of same from the pixel motion uh, blur plugin as we see in the previous videos all right if we want to you know that this uh, shutter angle when we uh, increase this number we got more blur on the footage if I have to increase this speed of the footage and we increase this shutter angle we got more blur on this footage and the uh, shutter sample gonna give you more detail on your footage but it going to take much time to render as you know already so I'm going to set it to 180 and uh, 5 and, and I'm, I'm gonna also enable this automatic alright another thing we got here this tuning option and you can stop playing on by your own I'm not gonna cover all these options in this video because it's gonna be complicated 
we will talk about these option for further videos so this is uh, how you can speed up your footage and you got everything in this you got uh, frame blending option you got uh, pixel motion blur plugin built in which is kind of interesting pixel motion blur is uh, very best for you as we seen in the previous video so you know uh, time stretch is universal you can't uh, go over time so you don't have much options uh, to speed up or speed down footage if you want to speed up your footage from here to there then in the time stretch you have to split the layer you can't uh, make a keyframe in it but in time remapping enabling time remapping as we learned in the previous video you have the limited keyframing options you can't go beyond that but in there we have this speed option what you can do with this you can set the time in the very first keyframe let's say 200 you can make keyframe and move forward a couple of frame you can set it to 5% slow if I simply ramp review this in the very first keyframe we got 200 speed which is twice as fast from the original speed and it's going to be uh, slower this footage at 5% down from the original speed which kind of interesting if I select this footage and then press U to reveal these keyframe and as you can see we have two keyframe and the very first we got 200 speed which is twice fast and in the last keyframe and we have this 5% where you can increase your speed at at the moving couple of frame forward and you can increase it to 100 which is the normal speed of this footage and you uh, another important trick i want to tell you is that you can select your keyframe and hold down alt and uh, select last keyframe and you can squeeze them and it's gonna be measuring all your keyframe at the same time all right guys you don't have to select your single keyframe and moving right there and you don't have to moving right there use this technique selecting your keyframe hold alt and you can stretch them and it's gonna be equal there to there all right guys Okay, that's it guys. Uh, that's the end of this video. I hope you learned something from this video. If you really uh, like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one. Okay, see you guys and next time.